Hello, I'm going to show you our app. So we're adding a post and the client sends a WebSocket frame to the server and then the server sends the frame back to all the clients that are connected to the server through WebSockets and then through comments is pretty much the same thing except the JSON also includes a parent ID so when the server sends back the frame uh, the client will know which post the comment should be under so as you can see it appears under the correct post so it works both ways for a blog to also blog to user profile interaction for liking uh, the JSON has a post ID so the server knows which uh, database table row to save the like status to and then the client knows which post to color the button blue and you refresh it, it'll still be there. And yeah, you refresh that page, it will also be there. And then you can also upload pictures. And it will appear on both uh, windows. And then you refresh it, it will also still be there. And then, so we'll see blog to blog interaction. As you can see, um, any uh, attempts at HTML injection won't happen. And if you refresh it, it'll still stay the same. And then, user profile to user profile interaction. So, on this page, you can only comment and like. And you see it will change on both windows. And then if you comment on one of them, it will appear on both of them. And then I forgot to show also like the commenting on and liking. So liking, commenting, or blog to blog interaction and then also uploading a picture from blog to blog and it will appear so now I'm going to stop as you can see on the terminal I've stopped the database and the web server and now I'm restarting it to show that the Post still persists after a server restart. Just checking if everything's all loaded. So I'll refresh this page, and as you can see, everything's still there. Same with the user profile page, and that's our app. Thank you very much.